GMD Boxing Reports, Ronel Hit reporting here, and I'm back at it for the Boxing Fanatics. Okay, so Erickson Lubin's career is now in question. After getting starched by Jamel Charlo, a lot of uh, boxing fans and uh, media writers is now asking the same question, where will he go from here? And other questions like, uh, will Erickson Lubin ever be the same again, or will this change him for the worse? Now, going into this fight, it was a 60-40 split between the fans. 60% was saying Erickson Lubin is too green for this uh, fight. He's not ready for this level of competition. You just don't you know, go from taking on C-level competition who gave you problems to a level of world championship competition like uh, Jamel Charlo. So uh, that was a great point by the 60%. However, the 40% seen in a different way. Okay, Dillian White uh, is a, a heavyweight contender who took on nothing but low level competition. So low that I can't consider some of them C level. However, when he faced Anthony Joshua, he still gave Joshua a competitive fight. Although he lost, however, the fight was still competitive. However, we all had to start off somewhere, and not everyone could be another Vasil Lomachenko by starting off his pro career with a championship fight. All right. So, however, back with Erickson Lubin, this defeat really shouldn't discourage him or ruin him. And if it does, then Erickson Lubin really has no place in the sport of boxing. Because if you take a look at other fighters who got starched uh, in the first round, you know their careers still took off in a great way uh they still won world titles and these fighters that i'm uh, talking about is former wba heavyweight champion john ruiz who was starched by david tua in the first round and i believe that fight only what, lasted 30 or 40 seconds however john ruiz still won a title a year or two later and uh, the other fighter is Amir Khan, who was starched in the first round by uh, Breida Scott. However, Amir Khan still continued his career as well, plus winning multiple titles along the way. Now with Erickson Lubin, he should just pick up the pieces and learn from this loss of his. Much like John Ruiz did when John Ruiz switched up his style after uh, getting KO in the first round by David Tua. Now, I really don't expect for Lubin to become a sloppy fighter like John Ruiz had switched up to be. Um, because, you know, let me tell you, John Ruiz's new style was sloppy and very uh, unpleasing to the eyes, okay? And a lot of uh, the fans were just sick of seeing John Ruiz. Some were saying, uh, why don't Don King just put this guy on the shelf, okay? But hey, you know, his new style won him a world title. However, for uh, Lubin, he just needs to learn how to be more of a slick boxer, learn more lateral head movement, plus learning how, how to fight off, you know, uh, the back leg uh, more better. And I believe he'll be just fine, okay? I mean, if, you know, you looks at it, okay? Like some people were saying that Lubin could be a, a damaged fighter like Fernando Vargas and David Reed. However, Fernando Vargas and David Reed they did not get starched in the first round okay they you know went on like david reed went 12 rounds of some serious punishment okay same thing with uh you know fernando vargas he only went 11 rounds however he was taking some serious punishment in those 11 rounds so no i don't believe that this first round uh ko loss will ruin erickson lubin you know it did not ruin uh, amir khan nor did it ruin uh john ruiz however if it does ruin him well then he never had a place in boxing in the first place like i said earlier all right so that's my takes on this cmd boxing reports i'll catch you guys on the next one